Welcome to video 146 in series 3, and now we'll write the NPC master script. Okay, so make a new master script, and call it NPC master. And of course, open it up. Alright, so I'll delete all of these uh, initial methods inside of the script, they're not necessary. And I'll start putting in uh, the uh, events. So there's a whole lot of events associated with the NPC master script. So let me go through them. First of all, write down public delegate void general event handler. And then we're going to have all these events of the type general event handler. So number one is event NPC die. Number two, event NPC low health. Number three, event NPC health recovered. Uh, number four, event NPC walk anim. Uh, number five, event NPC struck anim, anim. And then next, uh, event NPC attack anim. Event NPC recovered anim. Event NPC idle anim. So I think you can kind of figure out what's going on here. So of course, event NPC die would be uh, when the player's health is uh, falls too low, you know, zero. Then this event would be called and then other methods that are listening to this event will uh, execute and carry out the necessary actions. Uh, low health will result in the enemy uh, behavior, the flea behavior kicking in. So that's what that's for. Health recovered would be that uh, the fleeing behavior will stop and it'll switch to back to its normal. Uh, NPC walk anim, of course, that's going to be used. Uh, methods for the animation method, I guess, that will cause the... Uh, a walk animation to play that will be listening to this event and you can I guess imagine that for the struck attack and recovered and idle animations okay so then some more events now this this one is public delegate void health event handler it's uh, takes in a parameter int health uh, so the two events of that type public event health event handler event NPC deduct health and the next one is event NPC increase health. So this first one here, that would be associated with the take damage script. So that would be listening to this event. So when something causes the NPC's health to fall, it will use this uh, event. It will uh, call the um, uh, event, execute it, and any other methods listening then will uh, take the appropriate actions. Okay, now there are a few variables. These are used for animation. Public string animation bool pursuing is equal to uh, a string. It's is pursuing. The next one, public string animation trigger struck uh, is equal to struck. Public string animation trigger melee is equal to attack. Public string animation trigger recovered is equal to recovered. All right, so uh, just assigning those strings there, uh, and they'll be used for the uh, mechanim animation. The very first one is just a Boolean value. You'll see its usage uh, soon enough. Uh, in fact, actually, you're already familiar uh, with um, uh, three of them. The last one is the uh, new one that's different from the previous uh, AI system. Okay, so time to start putting in the methods for actually uh, making these events or well, calling these events so public void call event npc die and as always we have to check that it actually um, has something subscribed to it so if uh, event npc die is not equal to null then we may call it event npc die and of course the uh, round brackets there so just follow along that's what i'm going to do i'll copy in each of them there's quite a few Okay, so I've just pasted in three more. So after the event NPC die, we have this one, public void call event NPC low health. Uh, if event NPC low health is uh, not equal to null, then event NPC low health is called. The next one is a public void call event NPC health recovered. If event NPC health recovered is not equal to null, uh, then then we just call that event, event NPC health recovered. Next one, public void call event NPC walk anim. If an event NPC walk anim is not equal to null, then call event. So just write there, event NPC walk anim. All right, I'm going to put in another four. So I've just dropped in four more. 
I had finished with the walk anim, and now I'm on to the uh, struck anim. So public void, so all of these, as you already know, these are all just methods for uh, calling the event. So various scripts will call the events here, and then other scripts listening to these events will carry out the necessary activities. So it's a pretty long script, sorry to uh, bore you through it, but we have to write it. It's the fundamental, one of the fundamental backbones for our NPC uh, system, so we just have to write all of this stuff. So public void call event NPC struck anim. If uh, NPC event NPC struck anim is not equal to null, uh, then event NPC struck anim. Again, you can see that for uh, NPC attack anim, so just copy that and just write it. Public void. They're all of the same structure, just change the uh, wording here. So this one is call event NPC attack anim. If event NPC attack anim is not equal to null, then event NPC attack anim. Uh, again, then for the next one, call event NPC recovered anim, and you get the uh, general idea. Same sort of thing again, event NPC recovered anim, etc. Then uh, next is call event NPC idle anim, and then of course write the code for calling that event. And of course, I'm probably proceeding a little fast, a little fast, because there's a lot of content to cover in this chapter. So just pause the video when you need to type out the code, pause it, and just see what you have on the screen, and just uh, keep writing as per what you see. All right, the next one, uh, the next two, and you're very familiar with writing these master scripts now, to the point of it uh, being not that interesting, but as you know, they make uh, such a huge impact on the way the system works and makes it so much more efficient and easy to modify as well, uh, which you'll see in a bit anyway at the end of this chapter. It's a long chapter. Uh, the next two uh, methods I put in, public void call event npc deduct health. Now this is different. It has the parameter type int health because, you know, it's event which we... Um, the delegate that would define above and its events, uh, they, are, uh, they take in the parameter int health. So no wonder. Um, that's why our methods are like that. So first one was public void call event npc deduct health, pass in the int health. And then if event npc deduct health is not equal to null, then it's safe to call it. So event npc deduct health and pass in the health value. Same here. Uh, just copy that and just change the words. Public void call event npc increase health. And then it's, of course, uh, the type int uh, parameter. So I just called it int health. And uh, if event npc increase health is not equal to null, then event npc increase health, health. All right. So that's it. That's it for the master script. It's nothing complicated. It's just that there's a lot uh, that can go on. So that's all the reason why it, there's all that writing. But otherwise, it's a really simple script. There's nothing complicated. And you can see what the purpose of the script is for. It's really just about um, making sure the appropriate actions happen when each of these events, I mean, just having events so that appropriate actions can happen when they're called. That's all it is. Okay, anyway, that's enough uh, of me rambling on on this video. I'll just do a slow scroll through so you can see it all together. Uh, in its completed state. And uh, we'll move on, and we need to start writing uh, the uh, state pattern and the uh, other scripts. That'll be uh, uh, quite a few videos on that, so uh, lots of work to do. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.